Hi there. If you're looking to climb the standard ladder, not sure what to play, I got your back. Let's discuss five decks to get you through this week in Hearthstone. Listen, the meta's gonna change. It will change throughout the week. So use this as a guide, the beginning of the week, you know, to start your climb. Um, you might need to make some tweaks here and there, but again, thanks so much to hsreplay.net for the superior analytics that they provide. Um, all the links to each one of these decks I'll throw in the video description below. I'm going to do things a little bit differently this time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go directly onto the hsreplay.net site and just talk about some of these that are popping up. So it's been five days, four days since Festival of Legends launched. And if you like Paladin, if you like Death Knight, if you like Demon Hunter, you're in good shape. Um, the rest of the classes aren't doing that great. Um, Druid, Mage, and Warrior are fighting for the bottom of the barrel. Um, Rogue. I thought Rogue would be stronger. When I was doing the uh, review of the cards, especially for Rogue, I was like, yeah, Rogue's going to be a problem. I don't know. I think it's way too soon to be guiding our you know, decisions on what we're going to play, what we're going to craft, uh, based on the first couple of days. But uh, Rogue needs to push itself up a little bit. Same thing with Warlock. Um... Uh, Symphony of Sin is a really cool card. Um, I thought that would just take the, the class to another level. It's, it's again, still too soon. But look. First up, Pure Paladin with a 58.33% win rate, over 83,000 games played right now, and it's, of course, Diamond through Legend. Um, best matchup is Tony Warrior, worst matchup is Outcast Demon Hunter. You're going to see worst matchup Outcast Demon Hunter multiple times on this list because it's a very powerful deck. Um, it's the same as before, essentially. Um, you know, one of the things in this deck that's, that's super good is Countess. Um, you know, this has won me many of game because of the randomness of the Countess putting out those three legendary invitations in your hand. Um, Light Ray went up, uh, to 11 mana, I believe it was nerfed, uh, this week on Friday, uh, but it's still powerful. I would definitely keep it in there. Um, and then it's just it just spells to 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 beef up your uh, minions and just kick butt. Disco Mall. I thought uh, when we were going through the reviews of the cards, I was like, eh, this one's not that great. It's great. It's great. Um, it, plus, it's a common, so it's super easy to craft. If you don't have this card, get this card. Um, so again, this is a very, very popular class right now. This is my favorite of the um, deck types in this class. I would definitely give this one a shot. Next up, Frost Aggro Death Knight, 58.10% in over 87,000 games. Uh, best matchup is Naga Mage, again. Worst matchup is Blood Death Knight. So the only thing that can beat it is another Death Knight. Um, this is a strong deck. It is aggro. Um... I know that I've seen on Twitter recently that, that those have been complaining about this specific uh, deck. So it's just, it, it is what it is. It's, it's, it hasn't really changed too much from the last um, iteration before Festival of Legends came out. It's, it's awesome. Um, I would definitely try this. It's not an expensive um, deck to um, build. And it's it's very fun. Um, remember, you're gonna see a lot of um, Death Knights, and you're gonna see a lot of Paladins. You're gonna see a lot of um, Demon Hunters. But the cool thing, you're beating almost all of them. If you look at this, the the win rates are just the top of the heap. Um, the only thing you gotta worry about is Thaddeus Warlock, but you don't see a lot of those right now. I haven't personally seen a lot of those. Um, but it's it's a really cool deck to try, and like I said, it's also super cheap. Undead Priest shocked me. I didn't think we would see Undead Priest anymore, even though that we kept uh, Dark Bishop Benedictus. Um, I just thought it wasn't going to be popular. Again, worst matchup is Outcast Demon Hunter. Remember that. Best matchup is Nagamage. Everybody's beating on Nagamage right now. This doesn't sound like the best uh, card, I mean, the best class to be playing right now. Um... It's the same as it was before. There's a little bit different synergies. It's got the Idol's Adoration uh, weapon. Your hero power costs zero after you uh, use it. Lose one durability. So this one's really simple to understand. Go face. Put your minions on the board. Buff them up and go face. 
Um, if you've played this before, um, the synergies are almost exactly the same. Uh, the only really difference is Idol's Adorations in there, which just makes your hero power zero. Um, so that's a good thing. If we look at the matchups, we will see that the only thing it really has a problem with is Paladin. Now, Paladin is, you know, a, a concern if you're, if you're playing this trying to get a higher rank because Paladin is all over the ladders right now. Uh, Diamond through Legend, it's, look at this, the only thing that you're going to be okay with is Dancing Paladin and maybe Silver Hand, but Pure, you're, you're not winning a lot of games on this, so just prepare accordingly. Next up, Outcast Demon Hunter, 55.71% win rate and 73,000 games. Best matchup, Naga Mage. I really gotta see what this Naga Mage is looking like because this is every single one is saying, yeah, it smacks Naga Mage, it smacks Naga, Naga Mage. Uh, worst matchup is Blood Death Knight here, um, same as before. So this is really use your Outcast cards to buff up your group. Um, you have the one here, the Halveria Dark Raven, which just makes your uh, rush minions, when they attack, it gives your minions plus one. Um, you could do some damage with this, especially with Lady Steno as well. Um, it's really good. It's It doesn't, it looks complicated, and maybe that's just because when I first started seeing it, um, I was not a huge um, Demon Hunter uh, player, but it's not difficult. Um, just watch what you're doing, watch what's on uh, the left and the right hand side of the board. Um, I mean, your hand, so you're making sure that the outcasts are popping when they need to, and it's fun. Rowdy Fan also is really cool. Um, choose a minion, it has plus four attack while this is alive. So put this with either um, Lady Steno or uh, Halveria, and you've got some, some, some punching to do. Vengeful Walloper just got uh, uh, nerfed on Friday, but I still don't see this being as a, oh, remove this and put another card in. It's just a good card. Um, having one extra um, mana on this one I don't think is going to make a uh, problem to it whatsoever. Um, as for matchups, um, you got to worry about a little bit of blood and frost death knight, and really, that's it. This is powerful. Maybe a little bit of other demon hunters, but you don't see a lot of relic or spell demon hunters right now um, in, in the rankings. Definitely consider playing this at least once or twice. See what you think. Okay, last up, and it's not the fifth uh, deck. It, it's, it's actually a section where you can go on hsreplay.net um, to find a deck that's really cool to play or what's trending right now. There might be a new meta breaker in, in this list here. So you go to the trending section of hsreplay.net and you just look through. You see what's being played at the time. So right now, Tony Druid. It's got a 50.5% win rate. Maybe there's something there. The games will be the games played on this will be low, um, and it will change. But this is something that you can put together, look at like every couple of days, and say, hmm, maybe this is something I should look into. As an example, Totem Shaman, 60% uh, win rate with 630 games. There may be something there, something to look at to say, hey, what's coming up next? Um, what am I going to have to face next, if you will? So that's all I have for this week. Please like and subscribe for weekly Hearthstone content. And thanks again for hsreplay.net for all of this information. Um, I myself am a premium subscriber. Um, I suggest you all do the same. It's just a, a, a super awesome resource. Um, this will help you increase your win rate exponentially. And the power of this data is, is amazing. Um, I will see you in the tavern, and I will most likely be playing one of these decks, and good luck and have fun.